super adorable, totally on the way to friendship. Thanks for having me tonight. Um, wow, so many friendly faces, so cool, so cool. Um, on the way here tonight, I actually uh, tested one of my untested superpowers. I believe that we all have untested superpowers, like I'm totally convinced if the taxi driver just took off with me, I'd be like, oh hell no, and like eject myself from the moving car and would roll to safety. Or if the plane was gonna crash, like, I'm really good about grabbing onto my armrests, like I can direct it, like if the pilot passes out, if he's drunk. I listen to Channel 9. I don't know if you guys know, Channel 9 is where they talk to the people. They're like, Commander 29, I'm here in the air. And then the one's like, you're good, you're not gonna crash. And they don't really say that, but you have to read into it. So I'm really good at that. Um, I'm really good at pretending like if I ever met Ellen DeGeneres, I wouldn't freak out. Like, it's <laughs> another one of my superpowers. Okay, but tonight, okay, on the way here, true story, which I hate when comics say true story, because it's like, is everything else you're saying a lie? No, okay, but true story tonight. We're on our way here, we stop at the 7-Eleven around the corner, okay? And my untested superpower, I'm like, what's happening, okay? So I'm sitting in the car, my girlfriend gets up to go in to go to the ATM to get some money, because there's cash for the Warriors, for the beer, for here, right? Okay, so she goes in, and she goes to the ATM, and I see, I'm watching inside, and I see like little kids at the register, and I see, and I see this woman walk up to the, to the door. And she's kind of like, does anyone watch Orange is the New Black? Okay, good, okay. She's kind of like crazy eyes, like legit crazy eyes outside of this. And so immediately I'm like, what is this? And she takes off her hoodie and she puts her fingers like this, okay? Now, just to be clear, there is no real threat happening here, but she puts her fingers like this. And then she takes off her hoodie and begins to wrap it around her hand. So you guys, you know, you guys understand. I was like special agent trained, so I really knew what she was about to do. But she wrapped this sweatshirt around her hand and I was like, in a split second, had to make a decision. Like, she's about to fake rob that store. And there's children and my girlfriend, but I care about the children more. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> Now my girlfriend's here, now she's pissed. No, she's not, she loves children too. No, but I had to like, I had to make a call in a split second, so I jumped out of the, the vehicle, and I said, hey! And she went, <laughs> and, she, and I said, wait one second! Because <laughs> I really literally wanted her to wait one second after the children cleared could clear the store, because fuck the man, like if she needs money, go get it, but make sure like my girlfriend's gone and that the kids are gone so there's no like, you know, tremendous horror being inflicted. Anyway, that happened to me tonight. So it, was, it felt good to know that like in the moment, I'm not a pussy. Like I'm a pussy, I, I, like, I am, I cry, I cry all the time. My girlfriend's like, how do I have a butch lesbian that every five seconds is like, you don't, do you love me? We, we need to go out more, like we need to, we need to exchange gifts more, like we need to say words of affirmation more. And she's like, okay. Okay, you know, so like, so it felt it felt good to know that in that moment I would protect. Okay. Thank you. 